Well, this year, the New York Comedy Festival is expanding. Entertainment reporter Sandy Kenyon taking a look at how social media is changing the scope of the comedy scene in New York. Joe Coy is one of the headliners who will play a couple of shows to thousands of people. But he still remembers the first time he played at the club owned by yeah. Caroline Hirsch. Yeah. You play Caroline's, you've made it. You know what I mean? Like, when you finally get the nod from her uh, that you get to be on that stage, it's like, oh my God, yes, I'm finally here. Hirsch co-founded the New York Comedy Festival, and the week-long event has grown to include more than 100 shows at almost two dozen venues throughout the five boroughs. And adding to that, we have many more women that are doing it. When I started, there was, like, a, I could count the women on one hand that I worked with. But now we work with, you know, lots of women. Streaming and social media have transformed the business of comedy, grown it dramatically, and drawn performers closer to their fans. About to do makeup, and Megan is going to make me look a lot better. Joe Coy's 369,000 Instagram followers help him sell out big venues and attract many more viewers to his Netflix special. I got it half a million people that are ready to get a flyer with just a click of a button and, and and that's changed everything so much comedy so widely available encourages folks to go out and see more stars live and that bodes well for the future here there are more people doing it there are more people enjoying it mm -hmm. more people understanding comedy for what it is a great art form a great Art form indeed. One of the goals of this week's New York Comedy Festival is to find the headliners of tomorrow. This evening there's an entire night called Comics to Watch and on Saturday the festival has a competition to discover New York's funniest performer. Details are on our website, ABC7NY.